Well, Zalit have been at it again, and this time they've brought out an even better chef knife. I was asked if I would um, do a, a review of the, the two chef knives, and so you can see the, the differences between, between them. This one is going as the executive chef knife. It's a special edition, just been just been brought out, just been released. And this one is the one that was introduced in the market. Um, I think it was October the 9th, two thousand and fifteen, and it's been exceptionally successful to date. If you have a look at the boxes, same length. This one's ten millimeter wider because the executive chef's got a, a, a much deeper blade, which you'll see see in a minute. What I'm going to do is I'm going to talk mainly about this one to start with, so we can recap what made, made this such a, a popular um, chef knife uh, around the world really um, and then we'll go and we'll, we'll do the, the comparison between the two I just wanted to comment as well actually um, with the, the two boxes you can see this one's like a more of a titanium um, the sil silver sort of effect and that is the standard box for all of the VG10 series um, this one is the is the gold standard, so you can see the the gold tint in this in this particular particular box. So when you open the the box up, it comes. You get the standard VIP card and stuff. I don't need to focus too much on that. You get this beautiful red felt um, inlay. This has function. It's basically it ensures that the knife does not move around you in transport. So you've got a foam piece that sits here on the blade. When this is on, it cushions together. And it means that the blade cannot move, so everything's safe, secure during, during the transport. The knife itself comes with a, the, the tip guard. Tip guards for, for safety. It can be thrown away after, after you open the, the box or you, you can keep it. So this is the, the box. We'll get that, that one out of, the, out of the way. When we have a look at the, um, the special edition, the executive chef version, um, same sort of idea. I've, I've taken the VIP card out. You get the, the protective foam, the piece that goes over the, the blade. And then here's the knife with the tip guard. And that's the box out of, out of the way. So that's the two, the two knives. What I'm going to do is I'll talk about the, the features and benefits of this one. Um, to recap on what's made it made it so successful, and I will come back and we'll talk about the differences between the the two the two knives. Because there's so many things to talk about, I think the best thing I can do is if I start from this end and then I work my way to the, the tip. Hopefully, I won't miss out any of the points when I when I go through it. The knife itself is a is a full tang, it means that you've got the solid piece of metal from the tip right to the the base. Full tang gives it strength, sturdiness, it uh, makes it a, a solid knife, it's not going to break, it's been designed for, for knife. It does make it a, a bit heavier as well. The handle itself is a high carbon stainless steel and this um, the tang runs all the way to the, the cap, the base of the, the, the knife. This has got a good feature so if it ever touches against a hot pan or thing, that's not going to do any, any damage. If it drops, it's not going to cause any damage. This black material, it looks like a carbon fiber style of material. I don't know if you can see the, the detail on there. But it's actually, it's a military grade G10 Garolite. It's a fiberglass type material. It's exceptional. Um, it not only looks good, it looks like the carbon fiber style, but it's got some exceptional mechanical properties. It's moisture resistant, which is obviously important in a kitchen. It's um, resistant to heat, cold. It's impact resistant, so if you drop it, it's not going to shatter. And it's also got exceptional wear resistance properties, so it's, it's all around exceptional. It's quite expensive, but it's a, it's a really good, good material. The knife comes with the, the traditional three rivet rivet design, but Zalit um, introduced a new new style on the market back in October, October 2015, and they have their signature um, rivet in the middle. It consists of um, three metals, so you've got brass, stainless steel and copper. We've got um, 
10 copper cylinders, 2 stainless steel cylinders, and you've got 7 brass. So how many is that? 10, 12, 19. 19 different different cylinders. It looks it looks fantastic. Um, you get a lot of people commenting on how, how beautiful that centre Japanese uh, mosaic rivet is. When we move further further down the knife, um, actually while whilst we're still on the handle, um, one of the the big features of the of this this Zelite Infinity knife is that the rounded handle. It was designed specifically to shape well inside of the hand. You can see the way it flows around the hand. Um, since we introduced this on the market in October um, 2015, 9th of October 2015, one of the, the problems of being in a competitive market is when a product's so successful you do get a lot of competitors coming trying to copy and there is some cheaper versions out there with small flat handles and stuff like that. You make your own decisions but this is a very comfortable, it's been it's been designed that, that, that way. Um, when you move further down, another striking feature of the majority of the, the Zelite knives is that uh, we have a, like a taper bolster on here. That's so it naturally encourages the, um, the pinch grip style of cutting. A lot of chefs prefer to have the pinch grip where you, you grab it like this and you, you're doing the, uh, the, the rocking motion. When you move a little bit, a bit further down, we then come on to what is really what makes the knife in itself exceptional, um, the blade material. So you've got Japanese VG10 Super Steel as the centre core, this is the thickest piece. Um, after cryogenic cooling, cryogenic cooling closes up all of the pores and everything else and it makes it even more um, rust and stain resistant. It also makes it slightly harder. So after the cryogenic cooling it's, it's a Rockwell hardness of 61. <clears throat> That VG10 itself, this, um, the VG10 Super Steel, is protected by 33 layers each side of um, SUS410 high carbon stainless steel. So you've got 33 layers, you've got your VG10 core and another 33 layers, so 67 layers in total. The pattern that you see on here is, is created when you, you grind the blade down to the, to the wedge shape. Um, it exposes the multiple multiple layers and after buffing and everything else is how you control the pattern. This particular knife has the rose Damascus, so you can see the rose patterns across here. Sorry, the rose Damascus. <laughs> Let me try again. It's, it's the Tsunami Rose <coughs> Damascus pattern. So here's your, your rose pattern on the blade and this is your flowing water, the Tsunami uh, rose rose pattern. When we are looking at the the blade itself, there is no flat sections on the blade. Um, it's got a it's got a rounded belly, and um, so it, it is actually radius all the way along. And again, that's been designed so it's 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 good for the the rock and motion style of of cutting. You can see. The interface between the VG10 and the stainless steel, this curve, this wavy line, again that's another um, aesthetic feature which looks very good on the knife. The blade edge itself is razor sharp, you have to be very careful with that, it comes from the factory at a 12 to 15 degrees, although we do try to aim for a 12 degree cutting angle. And this is an important point to make actually, is that a lot of customers buy these knives and then wonder why they get chips or, or cracks in the blade or whatever. Japanese steels are a lot higher quality, they're more expensive. Um, you can get them to be a lot harder, take much finer edges and everything else, but with hardness comes brittleness, so you need to be very careful. You know, with this type of knife you wouldn't want to be hacking through bone, you wouldn't want to be cutting on surfaces such as stone, granite, glass, all that's going to be high risk for, for chipping your blade. If you look at the uh, like the Wustoff or the Henkels or other similar sorts of makes, the German style of, of knife, they typically have a, a cutting angle of you know 20 to say tw 20 degrees per side, so an included angle of, of 40 degrees. That's very good for if you if you want to you know if you if you catch it into a bone. Or um, you know if you're, ha you're hacking through anything, it's you're not you're not going to damage the edge at all. But on here, if this is 12 degrees precise, so 24 degree include angle, 
it is razor sharp, the, the, the blade itself is very thin here. So if you're hacking into a bone or you're cutting on a, on a stone surface, then obviously there's going to be a high risk of chips and everything else. So one of the things that the company recommends is that you, you, know, you don't cut through um, bones, and meat with bones in, and you cut on blade friendly materials such as plastic, wood, bamboo and, and stuff like that. Okay, what else can we talk about with the with the knife? It's the full eight inches in, in length. The blade depth on on the current um, Zelite Infinity Chef knife is 46 millimeter. Some of the cheaper competitors on the market have the blade depth of you know 42 millimeters and stuff like that. You'd be very careful of that. <clears throat> we deliberately created a a deep blade because of my hands are quite quite big, but you know, to give the, the knuckle clearance when you're doing doing the cutting. If you look at some of the cheaper knives on the market with this, the narrower blade, um, you simply don't have the knuckle clearance and it's, it's not, not a, a, a good experience. This um, was the very first knife introduced on the market by Zalid. And what you'll see, we'll, we'll go over the, like a lot more on this in a minute, but you'll see that um, the logo on the on the um, on the chef knife, everything is on the one side, and there's no logo on the other side. Whereas the new knives or later knives introduced after this one, you've got the Zelite Infinity logo on this side, and then you've got all the material specifications on this side. So out of this VG10 um, series, there's the chef knife, Santoko knife, there's the bread knife, boning knife, six-inch boning knife, uh, six-inch utility knife, five and a half inch serrated utility knife and the four inch power knife. All of those have the Zelite logo on one side and the technical specifications on the other. Because this was the first one introduced on the market, this one is the, you know, it's the the signature knife. Uh, so this one we've made deliberately different. So the logo is just on the one side. And for people wondering what's the story behind the Zelite Infinity logo, uh, it's quite fun actually. The Z, Z is the, the flashing sword of, of Zorro. So this is the, the Z. Elite is that the, you know, the Elite Infinity knives are elite in a class of class of their own. And Infinity is that the knives have been specifically designed to, to, to last forever. So that's the three parts of, of the, the Elite Infinity logo. I don't think I've missed any parts out on that before I move on to the the new um, knife. Um, this knife is a solid knife, it's the full tang and everything else. It's actually uh, quite heavy for a, a chef knife. That's the sign of the quality to be honest. It's, it's 9.7 ounces. The special edition executive chef knife, because it's a much deeper blade and everything else, is, is quite a bit heavier. This one is, is 11 ounces. Again, you know, both the knives are, are, are perfectly balanced across the across the bolster. And very quickly, the three main differences between this knife and this knife, from the handle down to the um, down to the bolster, is exactly the same. The original chef knife has a very deep blade, which is suitable for for most people, 46 millimeter. The executive chef knife special edition has a 57 millimeter deep blade so it's exceptionally deep so even if you have gorilla hands you know it's the knuckle clearance in you're never going to get near near the table it's so it's it's a lot deeper um, blade looking on the heel of the blade uh, we decided to make the the designer a special design this here not only looks stunning, looks aerodynamic, it looks really really special. It also has function as well so when you're doing the the pinch grip you, you grip the knife here and your middle finger rests against here so it's a perfect rest for even more comfort when you're when you're using the knife doing the, the rocking, rocking style. And the other thing which you can clearly see is that we have a our revolutionary um, air blade so this this is actually it's the Special Edition Executive Chef air blade design. So it's got little air pockets all the way along the, the blade. 
and that's been designed specifically um, so food doesn't stick to the blade when, you, when, you, when you're cutting. So the, the, the three main differences is that it's a deeper blade, 46, 57 millimeter. This one has the, uh, the air blade design, so the, the hollows in the blade, which stops food from sticking. And it also has the, um, the aerodynamic shape to the, the heel of the blade, which has the functional side of supporting your, your finger as well. On the back, you can see that um, it gives you the, the specifications of the, of the blade. So it's the Japanese VG10 Super Steel, 67 layer. SUS410 is the type of um, steel, it's a, that's the outer layers of high carbon stainless steel. And after liquid nitrogen cooling, it's a 61 Rockwell hardness, hardness blade. So these are, the, uh, these are the two knives. This one has sold thousands to date. It's, it's available on Amazon USA and on UK, and I've sold thousands on, on each platform. Um, it's very popular now in all the professional kitchens. And to mark the success of the, uh, the Salit Infinity uh, VG10 series of knives, this one is a, a one, one of a kind special edition that's been brought out. And it's for people that really appreciate very high quality knives that want to have people, you know, asking lots of questions about where they got the knife from, it looks beautiful and everything else, and it's targeted towards executive chefs. So I think that about covers the two knives. So that's the the two knives. These are the, the boxes. So the silver box, which is what Zalita are very well known for. And then we come onto the, the gold standard. Salit Infinity 8 inch special edition executive chef knife with the air blade design and all of the special features that go with it. So I think I've about covered everything I can. Um, it's now available on Amazon UK and USA and happy buying.